Don't you love it when you hear about someone before all your friends? Well, this next singer is totally one of those people that everyone's about to be talking about. Get ready for Just Kate. Just Kate is currently touring with Honor Society, but she's also getting ready to release her debut album. Kate's well on her way to making it big, but she's still Just Kate. I always wondered what my reaction would be, like, hearing my song on the radio. And I was kind of just like, still like, wow, that's me. It's like, it's, I don't know, it doesn't hit me yet. I don't even know where to start. What's up guys? For a couple weeks I've been teasing at a little announcement that I've been dying to make. And now is the time. This is going to be a little bit of a, a backstory on my past and just what I've done. Um, in my music career so far and maybe shed some light on some things that a lot of people didn't know about me or my feelings on some of the things that I've done. I felt like this was a good transition into what I'm about to do next. The good news is I am going to embark on a new solo project adventure. This is something I haven't done in pff, I don't even know how many years at this point. I had a lot of reservations going into doing something like this for a couple reasons. Most of you know me from 18th and Addison. I can never cast a rain Make it a mess of everything When I've been on to better things When you are as well out there Which was the project that I had after my first solo project called Just Kate. Just Kate was a project that I had gotten signed to MTV. I was an MTV recording artist. I had the whole nine yards, the tour bus, the awesome manager. I had NSYNC and Backstreet Boys tour manager. Money that they were spending on records and music and I had all the cool stuff that you would imagine wanting to have as a, an, a musician and an artist that is trying to make their way in the industry. But a lot of that did not go the way I wanted it to, which ultimately caused me to have a lot of resentment for music and a lot of resentment towards the people in my life surrounding that music and that project in general. There was definitely some moments during that project that I completely lost touch of myself. For one, I was in a really bad place in my own life. I had a lot of demons that I was dealing with of my own on top of being young and on top of having all this pressure of being a certain thing. Ultimately, that got the best of me. And I had great people in my life, which thankfully they've always kept me in check, but I also had a lot of people that were also strangers at the time, telling me to do certain things, telling me what to say, telling me how to act. And anybody who knows me knows that I'm a very genuine, honest, tell it like it is kind of person. So being in those situations and looking back on some of the things that I've done, things I've said, interviews I've done, videos that have been taken of me, um, I don't even recognize the person that are that's in some of those videos, which makes it very difficult to look back and watch and be proud of anything that I've done, which can sometimes be misconstrued for me being full of myself or not grateful for what I've been able to accomplish because most people would kill for the opportunity that I had. And I don't blame anybody for feeling that way about my situation or what I've done. And for me complaining about it, some people might be like, oh, so sorry, you were signed to a label and they gave you a tour bus and you live this awesome life. But when you're dealing with um, personal things underneath all of that, you're young and naive and just trying to make your way through it, it's a lot easier said than done to enjoy it at that moment, especially when you feel like you're being inauthentic. For somebody like me who the entire time I was doing it was always preaching to be authentic and be yourself, not care about what people think of you, I was not living that truth myself. So looking back on a lot of what I did with that project, it was tough. So going into any kind of new solo endeavor, um, was definitely scary and very overwhelming for me to even think about. It took a lot of convincing in my own brain to figure out a way to do that without constantly being reminded of what I was dealing with in the past. I don't want to make it sound like it was all bad. I did so many things, it opened so many doors for me. I'm where I am today because of that project. I owe a lot of my success to that project, which I'll forever be grateful for. But there are so many moments and so many videos that I look back and I literally cringe watching just because I know like I wasn't being myself. I wasn't happy. I wasn't, I wasn't me. I was mentally in a bad place. I was 
letting other people dictate and tell me what to do because I thought back then I didn't know what I was doing, which I probably didn't. I knew enough to know that I was not happy. In one aspect, I was unhappy, but in another, I was extremely grateful for the opportunities that I was being given at such a young age. I had the theme song to Parental Control. I filmed three, four, five music videos, had music in shows like Jersey Shore and Dance Moms and uh, so many shows, and I still do, which is amazing. And that led me to opportunities to work with Ace Freely from Kiss and collaborate with, you know, Chad Gilbert from Newfound Glory and go on tour with Yellow Card and just so many things that I would never be able to accomplish without that project or the notoriety from that project. In so many ways, I'm still so grateful for it happening, which is why I've decided to embrace it more than I ever have, instead of being so embarrassed by whatever is out there right now. Whether it be a video of me dancing like an idiot, which I still do, let's face it. Interviews where I just don't know what I'm talking about or I could tell somebody's just telling me what to say. I have to get past that and I have to realize again, one, I was young. Two, I was so new to all of it in general. Aside from being young, I had never done anything like that before on that level. And now that I'm third, almost 30, I just have to not care anymore about the past and what all of that looks like. Because anybody who knows me knows that I'm not that person anymore. They know who I am. And, and if you don't, take the time to get to know me. I always love talking to everybody. So yeah, I am so excited to be putting out new music. I'm excited to see what everybody thinks. I'm excited to start over and to be genuinely happy doing what I'm doing with the support of my husband, my family, my friends, and all the people that I've met along the way while playing music and any projects that I've been involved in. Yeah, this is going to be fun and I really want to know what everybody thinks.